Good evening students, parents and staff and special guests. Welcome to the ABJ Awards Night 2020, an online presentation. My name is Joe Dumont and I'm very blessed to serve as the principal of Archbishop Jordan Catholic High School. This is my third year at ABJ and my second last week as the principal as I pass this role on to Mr. Lakeman. Being the principal of ABJ has been both a tremendous honor and huge responsibility. It is an honor because I have recognize the opportunity to serve the dedicated and talented students and staff at the school. We are so blessed to have an outstanding school because of the great work that many of our students and staff do every single day. It has been my honor in working alongside them over the past few years, supporting their desire to reach for excellence and help out where I can along the way. I also recognize the enormous responsibility it is to be the principal of ABJ because each principal is tasked with continuing a legacy. This legacy is one where students come to ABJ to grow in their relationship with God and our parish and develop their understandings of Christ's love, which they will carry with them for life. In addition, students develop a variety of skills and understandings, developing their work ethic, ability to learn, adapt, and grow. As students move on from ABJ, we trust that their experiences here will serve them in their next challenge ahead. My advice to Mr. Lakeman as he takes on this new role is to continue to find the best ways to serve others, continue to ask difficult questions to ensure we're doing the best we can for our students, and whenever in doubt, wear a blue suit and a white dress shirt. As I think about the young people who have graduated ABJ over the past few years, and our current students who are attending here now, I am hopeful. Although I recognize that our world is currently facing many challenges, a global pandemic, challenges to democracy, economic turmoil, and a climate crisis, I am filled with hope because I've been a witness to how our young people adapt, support each other, and come together to make positive changes whenever possible. As an example, I had many sleepless nights this past summer thinking about how students would respond to the re-entry protocols at school as they returned. We asked our students to help us prevent the spread of COVID-19. I'm a witness to, high school, to a high school of just under 1,400 students that adapted to new expectations, figured out how to make the best of a two hour and 45 minute class and do their best to connect with their peers and their cohorts and do all of this with joy and optimism. Once again, ABJ students have been leaders in our community, showing others how to ensure they are successful in their learning while maintaining the safest environment possible. I'm very proud of all of our students and staff as well as our community for doing an outstanding job thus far. As one student did tell me at the start of September, it would take more than a virus to keep them away from school. And here we are. As we begin our program this evening, I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge that our awards night celebration is taking place within the Treaty 6 region. We acknowledge that we are on the traditional lands of Treaty 6 and home of Métis Nation, Alberta Zone 4. We also recognize the Inuit and other diverse Indigenous peoples whose ancestors have marked their territory since time immemorial, a place that has welcomed many peoples from around the world to make their home here. At this time, I'd like to call upon our chaplain, Mrs. McGann, to open the celebration with prayer, followed by our very own ABJ Choir to sing our national anthem. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Holy Spirit, giver of all good gifts, enter into my mind and heart. Give me the gift of knowledge and the grace to use it wisely. Help me in all my endeavors. Give me pers perseverance and fortitude. Help my memory that I may be remember what I learn and recall it when necessary. Guide me in the classroom. You who are the way, the truth, and the life, let me not be deceived by false teaching. Our Lady of Good Studies, pray for me. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, 
thank you, Mrs. McGann, for leading us in prayer, and special thanks to our choir for sharing their special gifts and talents. At this time, I'd like to call upon uh, our MLA, Jordan Walker, to bring us greetings from the Government of Alberta. My name is Jordan Walker, and I am proud to serve as the MLA for Sherwood Park. Congratulations on the accomplishments of the Archbishop Jordan Scotts. Each of you should be extremely proud of your hard work and dedication that you have shown in order to receive this academic award. This past year has been quite challenging for many of us, but it has been especially challenging for all students. So you should be especially proud of yourselves for having the determination to push through this COVID-19 pandemic and all of the unexpected challenges and changes that came with it. You have shown true leadership during these unprecedented times and I sincerely commend you for it. Congratulations to each student that has received this special academic award and thank you to all the outstanding teachers at ABJ that have committed their time and energy into tutoring and mentoring. Once again, I would like to congratulate each and every one of you and I am so proud of you and know you will have many more accomplishments in your future. At this time, I'd like to call upon our MLA, Nate Glubish, to bring greetings from the Government of Alberta. Hello and thanks for inviting me to participate as you celebrate ABJ's best and brightest students at this year's award ceremony. ABJ has a long history of high performance from academics to sports and music to the arts and, and sciences. Whatever the discipline, ABJ has a strong track record of equipping some of Alberta's brightest shining stars. As Alberta wrestles with the challenges of the pandemic, we are going to need to rely on our smartest, our most talented, and our hardest working citizens. And I am confident that as we walk this road to economic recovery, many students from ABJ will be a big part of Alberta's future successes. I look forward to following your stories as you continue your academic pursuits and as you enter the workforce. Keep up the great work and I hope to see you soon. I'd like to now call upon our board chair, Mr. Ted Pazic, to bring greetings from Elk Island Catholic Schools Board of Trustees. Good evening all. Uh, thank you for this invitation to uh, this special event this evening of the celebration of our students, the Achievement Awards in Academics. Uh, good evening to the whole Archbishop Jordan Catholic High School community, students, parents, recipients, other guests, especially Father Jim and other dignitaries and special guests. Uh, I'm very pleased to bring greetings this evening on behalf of the Board of Trustees. My name is Ted Pazic and I'm Board Chair. Uh, on behalf of also uh, Vice Chair Iwaskiw, uh, Trustee Zott, Boisvert, Makaweki, Stewart and Byer, we bring greetings to you on this special event. I, uh, I'm glad that we're continuing with this kind of an event here, despite the circumstances we aren't able to meet in a physical setting, but virtually, it is just as important to, to continue our tradition of celebrating academic achievements, even under these present uh, circumstances. The uh, Elk Island Catholic School Board is dedicated to Catholic education in, the, in our four communities, and uh, Archbishop Jordan Catholic High School is a very important part of our mission of providing Catholic education. Archbishop Jordan Catholic High School has a long tradition of academic excellence and uh, the, uh, we celebrate these achievements together and we are very proud as a board of trustees we are very proud of the accomplishments of our of our students and it's very fitting to be celebrating this uh, this evening uh, after all education and learning uh, this is our mission this is what it's all about and so when we celebrate in this way we, we are acknowledging the value and importance of, of education. Our recipients of the awards are leaders and heaven knows these days we need leaders. Thanks for your hard work. Our award winners work hard. They, they're they curious. They want to know what's going on in their subject disciplines and in the world. They're learners. They love to learn and so it's not the award in itself that's the value. The value is the, the knowledge and the learning that has been acquired by our by our students. Uh, we are celebrating a broad range of, uh, of academics uh, this evening, and uh, I'm always amazed at the scope of the program that Archbishop Jordan Catholic High School provides, and so our recipients from, from this whole range uh, of activities and disciplines, we're celebrating your, uh, in your honor. Uh, we are celebrating through this, of course, a, a Catholic education as well. 
So congratulations to all of the recipients uh, for the hard work that you've put in to, to achieve these awards. Also, I want to say a thank you to the administration, uh, uh, Principal Dumont and the staff uh, for the hard work in supporting students. Thank you to the parents for supporting your children in their academic uh, efforts and, uh, and these achievements. The, we're all very thankful and we're all very honored. We're all uh, recipients of this award vicariously through them. So uh, thank you to the organizers for organizing this, this event. And I offer once again, the congratulations on behalf of our board of trustees and offer God's blessings. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd also like to call upon our superintendent, Mr. Sean Haggerty to bring greetings from Elk Island Catholic schools. I'd like to welcome everybody to Archbishop Jordan Catholic High School's 2019-2020 awards ceremony. And thank you for taking your time virtually to come out and acknowledge the excellence that has gone on for the students of Archbishop Jordan last year. A number of you have already gone on to post-secondary and I, I'm hoping and, and am assured that what you picked up and gained at Archbishop Jordan has set you up for success at the next step. But today is about recognizing last year all the hard work, uh, the journey that you were on, and the recognition piece, whether it is in the academics area, the sports area, the uh, fine arts, whatever that area, um, you've done a great job. Our theme this year is choose, is choose joy in all of our actions and everything that, that we do. It is in the achievement of certain things that we're able to reflect on and ha have joy. When it comes, I happened to just share a story yesterday about back in 1980, winning the Electronics 15 award. At that time, it didn't seem like much, but here I am 40 years later, remembering that moment. Um, it, it was a small, way, a small way of recognizing the work that has been done. To the teachers that have put together this virtual celebration, it's a lot of work. So thank you for what you've done in hosting it in the evening. Um, on behalf of Elk Island Catholic Central Learning Services, we want to acknowledge and appreciate all the work being done by the staff and by the students. Parents, uh, you've been quietly in the background. In some cases, you've been loud in the background to, to encourage your son or daughter for success. Thank you for that support. Um, together, we are a stronger community and together continue to make a difference. God bless, thank you. At this time, I'd like to call upon our mayor, Rod Frank, to bring greetings from Strathcona County. Hi, Jordan. Hi, parents, teachers, principal, and also, most importantly, students. I'm Rod Frank, Mayor of Strathcona County, also an alumni of Jordan High. Thank you very much for the opportunity to uh, say congratulations to all award winners on behalf of Strathcona County. We uh, all are recognize the hard work you're doing as students, but also your jobs, probably sports, probably volunteering, that's a lot to balance. On top of all that, you're doing it age of COVID-19. We're very proud of you. Enjoy the evening. Congratulations. This is a truly exciting time for Archbishop Jordan High School and Elk Island Catholic Schools as we celebrate our ninth year of being in our ever-expanding facility here at Archbishop Jordan. Our school offers students a 21st century learning environment that is permeated in our Catholic faith and values. Congratulations to all of our students here this evening. We are gathered here tonight to celebrate together the many and varied successes of our students over the past school year. We are very proud of the skills and accomplishments that these amazing young people have attained through their commitment, hard work, and applying themselves in our Catholic learning environment here at ABJ and online. Each year at this time, we are reminded, we remind those gathered to join us in thanking the many people that have helped uh, in many ways that have helped our contributions to our students' successes. First and foremost, to our amazing parents and guardians. They are truly the primary educators and caregivers that have had a great influence on each and every day of your life. Thank you to our parents and guardians. Our staff, teachers and support staff, not just here at ABJ, but all those staff members along the way that have laid the foundation or high expectations for learning and engaging, in class, engaging classes for you from kindergarten to grade 12. An immense thank you to all of our teachers and staff that have helped along the way. Our faith leaders, Father Jim, Father Slavko, Father Mario, Father Randy, and all the clergy and lay people within our OLPH parish, you have journeyed with us throughout our sacraments and our faith lives. Uh, thank you to all of our parish priests, deacons, brothers, and fellow faith leaders. 
our community partners. Through these many partnerships, our school and community is a better place to live and flourish in. We are supporters of our registered apprenticeship program, our work experience supporting a variety of businesses and, other, and in other cases, our teams, clubs, and extracurricular activities. Thank you to our community partners. The provincial government, through the Rutherford Scholarship and other financial support programs that students are able to pursue to further their post-secondary education that otherwise would be a much greater struggle, thank you to the government of Alberta. And finally, to our corporate sponsors, whose support makes a huge difference by providing opportunities such as tonight, scholarships and financial support. Thank you to all of our corporate sponsors. And now, on to the awards. The Ukrainian Language Arts uh, Grade 9 Top Student Award is presented by the Alberta Foundation for Ukrainian Education Society, and today to present is Mr. Boychuk. This award is presented to the top academic student in Ukrainian Language Arts 9. This year's recipient is Kira Gordon. Congratulations, Kira. The next award is our Ukrainian Language Arts 10 Top Student Award. Uh, and this is presented by the Alberta Foundation for Ukrainian Education Society. And this one's also known as the Marlene Malchewski Award. This award is presented to the top academic student in Ukrainian Language Arts 10. And this year's recipient is Ella Warwa. Congratulations, Ella. The Ukrainian Language Arts Grade 10 Top Student Award, the Marlene Malachowski Award, is presented by the Alberta Foundation for Ukrainian Education Society. And Mr. Boychuk is here to present this award as well. This award is presented to the top academic student in Ukrainian Language Arts 10. And this year's recipient is Ella Warwa. Congratulations, Ella. The Ukrainian Language Arts 20 Top Student Award is presented by the Alberta Foundation for Ukrainian Education Society. And here to present on their behalf is Mr. Boychuk. This award is presented to the top academic student in Ukrainian Language Arts 20. And this year's recipients are Olena Ovcharuk and Emily Gordon. Congratulations, Olena and Emily. And our final award for the Ukrainian Language Arts is our Ukrainian Language Arts 30 Top Student Award, also presented by the Alberta Foundation for Ukrainian Education Society. And this year presenting is Mr. Boychuk. And this award is presented to the top academic student in Ukrainian Language Arts 30. And this year's recipient is Natalie Hansen. And accepting on Natalie's behalf is Mrs. Glass. So congratulations to Mrs. Glass and Natalie. The next award is the Knights of Columbus Award. Uh, religion grade nine teachers selected four students to receive these awards based on a student's display of the four principles of the Knights of Columbus, charity, unity, fraternity, and patriotism. This year, the recipients are Sierra Fleck, Tristan Miller, Inoa Corbelan, and Isaac Karkner. Please give them a round of applause, all right. And congratulates, congratulations again to our Knights of Columbus winners. This award is the Award for Mer of Merit for Christian Witness. This award is presented to outstanding students in grade 10 and 11 who throughout their involvement both in school and the community have conducted themselves in a manner which typifies the objectives of a Catholic school. These activities would include cooperation, witness, compassion, guidance, service to the community, and faith in God. This year's presenter is Mr. Lakeman. And our recipients for grade 10 is Jenna Ferguson, and for grade 11, Ashley McKinnon. So congratulations once again, Jenna and Ashley. The next award is the Shell Scottford Award. 
This award is given to a grade 12 high school graduate who is presently enrolled in a STEM-related studies in post-secondary. They must have a strong attendance record and have maintained a high grade point average and are outcome an exceptional circumstance. And this year presented the award is Mrs. Timko. This year's recipients for the Shell Scottford Award are Noel Reyes and Jorge Somatopoulos. Congratulations. And Mrs. Glass is receiving the award on their behalf. And our next award is the Grade 9 Top Academic Award or Highest Average. And the presenter for this award is Mr. Starko. This student attained the top academic grade 9 average as determined by our honor roll criteria, a truly distinguished achievement. And this year's recipient is Ashley Brennan. Congratulations, Ashley. Well done. The next award is our Grade 9 Top French Immersion Award, and this will be presented by Mr. Starko. This award is presented to a Grade 9 student with the highest average in three core French Immersion courses offered at Archbishop Jordan. French Language Arts, Etudes Sociales, uh, Sciences or Mathematiques. And this year's recipient is Ashley Brennan. The next award is our Grade 10 Top French Immersion Award and will be presented by Mrs. Timko. This award is presented to the Grade 10 student with the highest average in the three core French Immersion courses offered at Archbishop Jordan, French Language Arts, Etudes Sociales, and Mathematique. And this award is presented to Sarah Rabbi. Congratulations, Sarah. Our next award is our Grade 11 Top Academic Award. And here to present it is Mr. Lakeman. This student obtained the top academic grade 11 average as determined by our honors roll criteria, a very uh, in, uh, industrious achievement. This year's award is presented to Dominic Appel. Congratulations, Dominic. Our next award is our grade 11 top academic award and it will be presented by Mr. Lakeman. This student obtained the top academic grade 11 average as determined by our honors roll criteria, a truly remarkable achievement. And this year's recipient is Dominic Appel. Congratulations, Dominic. Congratulations, Dominic. Our next award is our grade 11 top French immersion award and Mr. Lakeman will present the award. It is awarded to a grade 11 student with the highest average in the three core French immersion courses offered at ABJ. French Language Arts, Etudes Sociales, and Mathematique. And this year's recipient is Dominic Appel. Well, our next award is our Grade 10 Top Academic Highest Average Award, and Mr. Lakeman will be our presenter. This student obtained the Top Academic Grade 10 Average as determined by the Honors Roll Criteria, a truly distinguished achievement. And this year's recipient is Abigail Hill. Congrats, Abigail. Our next award is the Life Touch CTS Distinguished Achievement Award, and our presenter is Mrs. Jennings. The Career and Technology Studies program is designed to develop skills that high school students can apply in their daily lives or when preparing for entry into the workplace. These awards recognize the exceptional leadership and dedication of individuals at each grade level who have perpetually demonstrated critical skills, attitudes, and behaviors that encourage connections between areas of interest and skill development that will lead to external credentials or further educational opportunities. And this year's recipients are in grade 10, Rachel Starko, in grade 11, Brianna Olenek, and in grade 12, Jay Stover and Kira Avery. The next award is our St. Paul Award and Mrs. McGann, our chaplain, is here to present. This award was created by the groups, the group Friends of ABJ, a group of dedicated parents, grads, and community members who support the vision and goals of high school Catholic education in Sherwood Park. This award honors a student from Archbishop Jordan who meets the criteria of grace and presence, who has worked hard and demonstrated determination throughout their years at ABJ. And this year's recipient is Carly Frey. And then hang on to this one too. There you go. Congratulations again, Carly, and say cheese. Our next award is our St. Francis of Assisi Award. And here to present is Mr. Jolly. The recipient of this award is a grade 
English, a 30-2 student whose life has not always followed the easiest path and despite struggling has made every effort to successfully achieve their goals. This person also understands that success without true achievement has no value and that failure is nothing more than an opportunity for growth. This person has the courage to celebrate their failures as well as their successes and therefore deserves to be recognized. And this year's recipient is Elizabeth York Jolly and Megan Corbett. And here to receive both awards on their behalf is Mrs. McGann. Congrats again to Liz. Our next award is the Governor General's Award and it is presented by Nate Glubish, MLA. I'm so excited to join you today to present the Governor General's Academic Medal. For more than 125 years, the Governor General's Academic Medals have recognized outstanding scholastic achievements of students all across Canada. This medal is awarded to the student graduating with the highest complete overall average from a high school. And this award is a huge honor and it recognizes significant accomplishments, work ethic, and talent. I am pleased to announce that this year's recipient of the Governor General's Academic Medal is Marlo Pfeiffer. Congratulations, Marlo. This year's recipient for the Governor General's Award is Marlo Pfeiffer. The next award is the Jerry Hansen Award. This award is presented to the student with the highest percentage increase from Math 20-1 to 30-1 that is currently attending a full-time university program. And this year's recipient is Samantha Skiba. Congratulations, Samantha. The next award is our Elks Award, and it is presented to a student who com completed an essay that identified their field of study, career plan with long-term goals, participation in school, community, and volunteer activities, as well as any additional volunteer experience. And this year's recipient is Sladen Jones. Our next award is the ATA Local 21 Scholarship. And here to present this award is Mrs. Rhonda Borowski. Good afternoon. My name is Rhonda Broski and I'm the local president of the ATA Teachers Association Local 21. I'd like to congratulate Gina Schnepper on receiving the ATA Local 21 scholarship. Congratulations. The ATA Local 21 scholarship award is presented to Gina Schnepper. Next award is the Knights of Columbus award. The Knight of Columbus selects two students to receive this award each year. Applicants must submit an essay to the Knights of Columbus and our selection committee picks the top two essays based on the applicant's ability to display the four principles of the Knights. Charity, unity, fraternity, and patriotism. This year's recipients are Luke Withers and Jalen Ramsanker. Our next award is the Interpipeline Fund Discovery Award Program, and it is presented to us by Peter Dolan. Good afternoon. With our employees and operations spread throughout Alberta, and into Saskatchewan, Interpipeline believes that we have a responsibility to foster stronger communities. One way we demonstrate this commitment is with the Interpipeline Discovery Award. Youth play an important role in building stronger communities and I'm pleased to present this award to an outstanding young man. Now in its 16th year, this programme provides bursaries to graduating students who are pursuing a post-secondary education in an industry-related field and who have demonstrated consistent academic achievement, community involvement and leadership. On behalf of Interpipeline, I am pleased to present this award to Benjamin Kerr for the positive impact you have made in your school and your community. Through your efforts, leadership and positive attitude, you have made a difference. Congratulations. The Interpipeline Fund Discovery Award Program Award recipient is Benjamin Kerr. Our next award is the IOD Scholarship. The mission of the IOD, a Canadian women's charitable organization, is to improve the quality of life for children, youth, and those in need through educational, social services, and citizenship programs. The award recipient is chosen based on their community service endeavors and volunteerism. This year's recipient is Alex Perez. Our next award is the Catholic Women League's Christian Leadership Award. And here to present it is Tracy Lockhart. Good evening. My name is Tracy Lockhart, and I am Director of Education with the CWL. The CWL Christian Leadership Award dates back 30 plus years. It is awarded to an ABJ grade 12 graduate who exhibits Christian leadership both at school and in the parish. 
Christian leadership would include volunteer engagement in the school, as well as the parish and broader community, with a notable religion, faith-based approach. The CWL relies on the school administration, along with the school chaplain, to determine each year's recipient. This year, this award goes to Maria Perez. She was always known to support others openly in the community, and she involved herself in a number of activities within the school and church. Congratulations, Maria. And this year's recipient of the CWL Christian Leadership Award is Maria Perez. The next award is the George Meok Memorial Award. And to present this year's award, we have Ralph Moniz. Good evening, my name is Ralph Moniz, and once again, it is my great pleasure to award uh, this year's recipient of the George Meok Scholarship. I just wanted to remind you that George was from ABJ, from Sherwood Park, uh, and Sergeant Meok joined the military at age of 17 in 1998, following in his father's footsteps. He served a tour of duty in Bosnia in 2002 and his first mission in Afghanistan in 2006. In 2009, Sergeant Miok departed for his second mission in Afghanistan. His trademark response to why he was heading back into harm's way was simply, somebody needs to save the world. Sergeant Miok was killed by an improvised explosive device on December 30th, 2009. He was 28 years old. So, 2020 has been a tough year for everybody. So I thought this year, why not share a moment of levity? So I'm gonna read from our yearbook, our 1999 yearbook. Uh, and I'm gonna show you, there's that handsome guy. <laughs> that's me, uh, that's George. And I'm gonna just read what he wrote. Grad 99, baby. Here's to all the boys and girls who made the mems great. To parties I can't remember, magical adventures, math binges, dances, rice bubbles, penguins, the ski trip, pain in liver, send nurse immediately, uh, rugby champs 97, 98 football champs, foxtrot, Zaba, I'm a lunatic, okay, to be you or not to be you. I've never been to Andretti's. I love you all, take it easy. And I just wanted to read that to share with you that George was like any other high school student, uh, writing inside jokes and general nonsense in his farewell comments to all the grads. Uh, but I have never met anyone in my life who loved this country as much as George and wanted to share with the rest of the world how great Canada is. So without further ado, it is with great pleasure that this year's recipient is Jaden Wright. This year's recipient of the George Meok Memorial Award is Jaden Wright. Our next award is the Real Foundation Award. This award is presented to a student selected for this award who is a leader who leads by example, has Christian presence in the school, community and parish, is easily identified as a school leader attending mass, participates in parish activities, and is attending post-secondary education. And this year's recipient is Taryn Waldner. The next award is the Grade 12 Top French Immersion Award. This is awarded to a grade 12 student with the highest average in three core French immersion courses offered at ABJ. French Language Arts 30-1, Etitude Sociale, and Mathematiques. And this year's recipient is Benjamin Stredwick. Our next award is the Ukrainian Academic Excellence Award, and it is awarded to students who achieved 92% or higher in Ukrainian Language Arts courses grades nine through 12. Our grade nine recipient is Kiera Gordon. Our grade 10 recipients are Amber Zyla and Ella Warwa. Our grade 11 recipients are Katja Morosiak, Olena of Cheruk, and Emily Gordon. And our grade 12 recipient is Natalie Hansen. The Molodet Award is our next award, and it's presented in recognition of a student's continued academic improvement as well as their positive attitude and enthusiasm for learning the Ukrainian language and culture. The winner of this award sets a great example for their classmates. This year's recipients in grade nine are Larissa Kowalchuk, in grade 10, Faith Iwaskiu, in grade 11, Katja Morosiak, and in grade 12, Emilian Dumich. Our next award is the Debbie Marin Arts Award. This award is for an Art 30 student who displays artistic talents and has demonstrated a willingness to be 
involved in the art community at large. This year's recipient is Jay Stover. Our next award is the Rotary Vocational Service Award. And here to present this award, we have a representative from the Sherwood Park Rotary Club. My name is Mike Gorski, and I represent the Sherwood Park Rotary Club. The Sherwood Park Rotary Club is a community-based organization that supports local and international projects and initiatives. Since 1990, our group of dedicated men, women, and youth have aspired to have a positive impact in your community. Our members meet each week to share in a common purpose. Together, we see a world where people unite and take action to create lasting change around the world, in our communities, and in ourselves. Our network of 35,000 clubs and 1.2 million members worldwide provides us with an unparalleled system to support those in need. Your Sherwood Park Rotary Club has provided new homes to flood victims in India, built playgrounds for schools in Belize, and distributed meal packages here at home and around the globe under our Sherwood Park Against Hunger program. Our ongoing initiatives support your local food bank, Christmas bureau, and shelters, as well as theater, sport, leadership, and education and recreation programs. The Rotary Vocational Service Award supports students by providing financial assistance to those who exemplify the spirit of community and leadership consistent with the values of Rotary International. It is my pleasure to be presenting this year's Rotary Vocational Service Award to Simon Swift. Congratulations, Simon. The Rotary Vocational Service Award is presented this year to Simon Swick. Our next award is the CTS Construction Merit Award. To qualify for this award, a student must achieve top standing in a grade 12 construction related class, demonstrate interest in construction CTS course, show leadership qualities in the classroom, and have a cooperative attitude with fellow students and teachers. This year's recipient is Rylan Sonoma. Our next awards are individual subject-based awards, and we're going to begin first with Religion 35, and the award recipient is Cortland Doucette. Our next award is 30-1, and that award is presented to Maria Perez. Our individual award for English 30-2 is presented to Amy Salazar. Our top mark for English Institute Social 30-1, rather, is Kieran Hatch. And our award for Etsu Social 30-2, we have two, Jack Elliott and Madeline Kayer. Our award for Social 30-1 goes to Jalen Ramsanker. Our award for Social 30-2 goes to Natalie Hansen. Our award for Science 30 is presented to Isabel Steppen. Our award for Biology 30 is presented to Delaney Peterson. Our award for Chemistry 30 is presented to Dominic Appel. Our award for Physics 30 is presented to Jacob Zimmel. Our award for Math 30-1 is presented to Jorge Samotopoulos. Our award for Math 30-2 is presented to Taryn Waldner. And our award for Math 30-1 is presented to David Urata. Our French uh, Language Arts 30 uh, award is presented to Benjamin Kayer. And our award for French as a Second Language 30 is presented to Ashley McKinnon. Our award for Math 30-1 en Francais is presented to Samantha Skiba. And our award for Math 30-2 French is presented to Nicole Hatcher. The top mark in Drama 30 is presented to Gina Schnepper. And our award for Art 30 is presented to Mayumi Urita. Our award for Phys Ed 30 Female is presented to Jenna Polsner. And our award for Phys Ed 30 Male is presented to Xavier Chicana. The next award is the OLPH French Immersion Award, OLPH School and School Council. This award serves to encourage the development of bilingual Canadians. It is with pride that we recognize the following students who have completed the French Immersion Program with proficiency and have demonstrated sincere love of French language and culture culture awarded to a male and female students. This year's recipients are Ben Strudwick and Daytona Dasman. Congratulations to both Daytona and Ben. The next award is the Grade 12 Top Academic Award, Highest Average. This student attained the Top Academic Grade 12 Average as determined by our Honor Roll Criteria, a truly distinguished achievement. 
And this year's recipient is presented to Natalie Hansen. The next award is the ABJ 50th Anniversary Scholarship Award. The ABJ 50th Anniversary School Spirit Scholarship Award is presented to a student who demonstrates well-rounded skills as a student and who promotes school spirit, who goes above and beyond in engaging their peers and celebrating the many events here at ABJ. And this year's recipient, the first of this award, is Alyssa Capper. Congratulations, AC. Our next award is the Alexandra Olington Memorial Award. This award is presented to a grade 12 student who was in technical theater program and demonstrated outstanding effort as well as support and encouragement for their classmates in the program. Alex was well known by students and staff for her passion for technical theater as well as her desire to help ensure everyone in the class was experienced success and felt part of the group. ABJ is honored to recognize Alex's contributions in this way through presenting an award each year as part of our award ceremony. And our first recipient of the Alexandra Olington Memorial Award is Alyssa Capper. Congratulations, AC. And our grade nine honors recipients are Kiera Agato, Dante Angotti, Ryan Bablitz, Matthew Bacand, McKenna Batter, Brady Balicki, Alyssa Balsudan, Michael Bennett, Kira Bishop, Kate Boswell, Nolan Boychuk, Ashley Brennan, Haley Briones, Avery Brote, Lily Boussier, Autumn Cameron, Isaac Karkner, Haley Shalafu, Yelena Chwak, Marco Cicchini, Caitlin Coles, Alex Couture, Alicia Couture, Logan Crowley, Iona Corbelan, Annika de Champlain, Caitlin de Sonier, Morgan Edwards, Kate Elliot, Julia Andres, Mia Fea, Athia Ann Fernandez, Brooklyn Fiddler, Sierra Fleck, Bryce Frey, Taryn Furenkrantz, Natalie Futurski, Emily Gathka, Alessandra Garcia, Kelsey Gaiason, Estella Glowacki, Kiera Gordon, Caitlin Gourley, Austin Griffiths, Mark Guzman, Caitlin Hansen, Mercedes Harrison, Aliyah Hartfelder, Jacob Hardy, Natalia Hatko, Brooke Hayden, Maeve Holden, Casey Honish, Adam Hewell, Jade Huber, Nicholas Yaramillo, Jack Jewell, 
Ainslam Johnston. Vakita Vadika Kapadia. Jaden Kasha. Hayden Keel. Katie Kirchen. Paige Christinikas. Joshua Kashuda. Larissa Kowalczyk. Sarah Kruinchek. Katijana Chris. Bentley Kublik. Jaslyn Kachuka. Emerson LeClaire. Riley LaFontaine. Dane LaForce. Jevin Lamosti. Aiden Lauren. Zoe LaRue. Lucia Lepon. Ayanna Lauren. Sadie Lowe. Ella Lou. Paula Lugo. Kate Malahan. Carter McLaren. Jeffrey Madro. Thomas Manning. Aaron Marizigan. Brendan McClure. Jake McMahon. McMahon. Tristan Miller. Adam Milligan. Jenna Mills. Emilia Miscolzi. Kyle Mockford, Emma Moline, Theo Moyo, Sam Nestblack, Nicole Nune, Angela Nawachuku, Isabella Pannison, Mia Palumbi, Fenny Patel, Anthony Pierce, Keenan Pierman, Paxine Danielle Penna, Mariana Perry, Paige Pettinger, Aslan Phelan, Mary Pickering, Madeline Pino, Taylor Plycan, Soren Porter, Leanne Pat Prada, Prada, Prado, sorry. Jared Rankin. Valerie Reed. Shea Robertson. Heidi Raindell De Rosario. Emily Rushku Rushkuich. Justine Luis Sanchez. Cole Schreiber. Nicholas Shuchuk, Callum Shields, Lance Pierre Sison, Victoria Smith, Hannah Snyder, Michael Soto, Maria Stasko, Clark Stepanyuk, Taylor Stevens, Lachlan Stevenson, Emery Talaga, Haley Trebell, Emily Timafichuk, Amanda Volk, Haley Walsh, Kaylee Weisberger, Cohen Winter, Alexandria Wischar, Levi Wolney, Megan Woods, Ashley Wright, Liam Yandon, and Tyler Yaninski. Congratulations, grade nines. 
All right, and these are the recipients for grade 10 honors, Archbishop Jordan. Ella Abercrombie, Hope Bektimichuk, Jake Ackert, Mark Daniel Anchures, Rowan Angtel, Catherine Anderson, Liam Anderson, Chloe Baker, Ramuel John Bilal, Tenley Van Beek, Nate Bellavance, Thomas Bennett, Andrew Benson, Anik Berg, Julia Bernis, Nylana Biglity, Annalie Bizuk, Callie Bone, Ethan Boychuk, Zara Megan Borgia, Elliot Boudreau, Owen Boyle, Rebecca Brake, Daniel Brown, Patricia Gwen Catuela, Gabriel Cadron, Anna Cahoon, Jeff Kirsten Callahan, Daniel Capper, Martha Jimena Villavicencio Villa Cardenas, Lucas Schwack, Karina Schwack, Isabella Cicchini, Bethany Coles, Danielle Kahn, Chantal Corbière, Kieran Correa, Carla Cruz, Spencer Davison, Jaden de Champlain, Amanda Celine Diocareza, Diana Deomick, Isaac Donovan, Zen Ducherer, Damien Duru, Rain Zioba, Kaylin Early, Jillian Eastwood, Sarah Eddy, Ella Eggleson, Faith Iwaskew, Connor Fairchild, Ian Ference, Jenna Ferguson, Ember Ferreira, Carly Franz, Lauren Freilich, Emily Fromm, Georgia Fry, Christina Fuelas, Emmett Geraldis, Nolan Gibbs, Andalyn Gordulik de Souza, Eve Gattel, Leah Corbelan Granados, Elijah Gregg, Emily Grenier, Brett Galka, Jonathan Hager, Jackson Havixbeck, Tyler Horlack, Caitlin Hayes, Owen Helsby, Abigail Hill, Annika Horseman, Chloe Ull, Evan Ull, Cindy Rani, Sydney Hewitt, Samantha Ibach, David Imad, Hunter Jobs, Sarah Johnson, Kaylin Johnston, Asia Kachuk, Rylan Kalachuk, Tyler Keeping, Eric Keller, Skyler Kelsey, Kieran Kenny, Matthew Klink, David Knott, Sai Kamishki, Kaylee Kolchuk, Linnea Kreese, Allison Kubisek, Chris Albert Lassist, Marcella Lafreniere, Emma Lang, Tyson Lau, Jeanette Living, James Leung, Matthew Linford, 
Abigail Lloyd, Joshua DeLuigi, Abby Limburner, Terika Abegri Ona MacArthur, Marin McDonald, Josh McDonald, Kira Made, Gregory Madro, Jennifer Manning, Daniel McCann, Emily McGee, Cassidy McRobert, Nicholas Murray, Hannah Minarchy, Justin Aubrey Mitchell, Sadie Mockford, Diolius Molina, Christina Morosiak, Liam Morris, Logan Newley, Haley O'Brien, Samuel Olney, Colby Perinich, Trey Parker, William Parsons, Matthew Perizak, Eden Peterson, Ella Pite, Garrett Pitzel, Jordan Plemel, Austin Plican, Zenon Poole, Sarah Rabbi, Caleb Raymond, Seamus Ritzy, Eric Ritchie, Cole Robertson, Sabrina Fuenmayer Rodriguez, Shea Romaniak, Tess Rose, McKenna Rudiak, Cody Ryan, Xavier Song, Braden Samagalski, Curtis Samagalski, Andres Perez Sanchez, Marcus Sawiak, Otto Schaub, Matthew Schmidt, John Sedgwick, Michael Sagan, Joshua Semeniak, Joseph Sigurdsson, Natalia Skiba, Ashley Smybert, Jacob Snechuk, Jaden Snyder, Christos Gallegos Somatopoulos, Helen Spilak, Liam Sproul, Rachel Starko, Isabel Sten, Sophie Steblik, Noah Steppen, Nathaniel St. Jean, Zachary Stoddard, Julia Stover, Damien Stredwick, Belinda Sulit, Mason Tierley, Rachel Thiessen, Cassidy Thompson, Grace Toner, Kaylee Topilko, Katrina Tufti, Colby Urig, Alejandro Fernandez del Valle, Morgan Vanni, Kaylin Veldman, Evan Vu, Jenna Wallace, Ella Warawa, Abigail Woitis, Mary Wolf, Madeline Wong, Scott Yu, Emerson Zilka, Amber Zyla. That concludes the list of the grade 10 honor recipients for Archbishop Jordan. Okay, here are the ABJ honor recipients for grade 11. Mikhail Abdullah. Romina Bianca Abinola. Alexandra Ayalo. Dominic Appel. Kyle Araza. Haley Archer. Jacob August. Selena Babin. Emily Bashand. Reese Barnes. Aislinn Bartlett. 
Jenna Bebek, Catherine Belden, Alicia Bell, Annika Benson, Megan Mary Billoway, Sydney Bishop, Jenna Bowie, Alex Bowie, Jonah Boychuk, Noah Bulis, Paulina Kellio, Emma Campbell, Hayden Karkner, Matteo Cicchini, Maya Clark, McKenna Collinson, Elise Coppins, Daxter Cornand, Olivia De Crescentis, Dawson Crow, Louise Faith Cruzet, Leonard Dayan, McKenna De Champlain, Jessica De Saunier, Jacob De Taro, Nicholas De Vincenzo, Bryce Doucette, Emmett Dumont, Justin Duran, Samantha Fallman, Sam Farquhar, Dylan Fernandez, Brooke Figueroa, Jalen Fleck, Lena Francoeur, Evan Frelich, Carly Frey, Hannah Gazzo, Emily Gordon, Jamie Granberg, Nolan Granville, Annika Gray, Shelby Groot, Christina Hackman, Tori Hartwell, Taylor Hatala, Noah Hayes, Holly Hel Helgeson, Connor Hayward, Abigail Hewitt, Marlies Hole, Kendall Holt, Cameron Jackson, Piper Jansen, Grace Johnson, Ann Johnson, Griffin Jones, Julie Kerwin, Arden Kirkpatrick, Frigia Knight, Justin Kruinchuk, Evan LeClaire, Aaron Lambert, Hannah Lang, Eric Lasky, Tyan Lemieux, Helena Vandalite, Ava McDonald, Elaine Malari, Jillian Mamas, Jerson Marsegan, Kaylee Martin, Lowen Grace Martin, Matteo Mortarana, Angelina Mazuka, Ryan McBride, Cody McCloy, 
Haley McClurg, Sophia McCourt, Kyle McFeeters, Logan McGrath, Ashley McKinnon, Lauren Mercer, Elias Matanis, Hunter Miller, Lauren Minky, Ryan Macholski, Rachel Mogg, Elaine Munoz Morales, Katya Morosiuk, Jillian Murphy, Seraphine Nahachuski, Daniela Noonan, Michael None, Tate North, Seth Nwachuku, Reese Nikforek, Brianna Olenek, Alina Denise Pabanita, Mark Reginald Palma, Faith Angela Paredo, Delaney Peterson, Aiden Pettinger, Dominic Pfeiffer, Cassidy Phelan, Madeline Pollock, Marcus Pollard, Bridget Powers, Renz Renier Regencia, Isabella Remchin, Chase Richards, Megan Richardson, Liam Ritchie, Megan Roberts, Brick Smart Rolden, Shay Rose, Amy Rossetti, Megan Rowan, Jake Rozak, Allison Russell, Demetra Russell, Hunter Russell, Theodora Royce, Chloe Sanderson, Natalia Shuchuk, Juliana Shukalik, Sean Sieben, Caitlin Stanky, Gavin Stankovich, Caleb Steinwand, Matthew Stigomar, Emily Taylor, Brayden Thompson, Georgia Tislik, Brayden Tomk, Rayla Del Torres, Caden Torwalt, Aiden Ulrich, Tiona Umphrey, Ashley Weisgerber, Hannah White, Brooklyn Widnowski, Abby Weeb, Kyle Winland, Jordan Wismer, Daniel Walensky, Heather Walensky, Patrick Yandin, Tyler Yannick, Darren Zadanaski, Corinne Zubot. Congratulations to all of the Grade 11 Honors recipients. Grade 12 Honors recipients are as follows. Tuan Abdu, Sophia Abinoha, Aiden Timichuk, Luke Alanko, Kira Avery, Georgia Barris, Ewan Bartlett, Rowan Bartok, Ethan Beduza, Brent Belisario, 
Janelle Berg, Sean Blaken, Meadow Bluen, Georgia Bowman, Cassidy Brolt, Jared Brock, Ryan Burgess, Alexis Butts, Janice Callahan, Alyssa Capper, Benjamin Kerr, Madeline Kerr, Xavier Chicana, Maya Coleman, Kaylee Conlin, Megan Corbett, Barbara Crone, Landon Dallin, Evan Davidge, Daytona Dasman, Alexis Durkach, Vince DeLuigi, Neil Domingo, Mason Dowdswell, Jack Elliott, Alexander Farina, Cassidy Fisher, Sydney Fix, Brooklyn Fortin, Jeremy Fowellis, Ashley Funk, Aiden Glass, Kara Gyerson, Diane Gonzaga, Natalie Hansen, Blake Harsula, Natalie Nicole Hatcher, Lexi Hess, Kiana Hoffner, Maria Hofflin, Sydney Hollick, Brooklyn Holt, Samuel Holtz, Michael Huck, Elise Huggins, Roxette Imade, David Nicholas Gerata, Nicole Yuramko, Asia Johnston, Slayton Jones, Jaron Joseph, Chloe Kachuk, Jay Kadam, Jonah Karsten, Tyler Keller, Jenea Kelgren, Elena Komick, Stephanie Cousy, Isabel Langford, Elizabeth Langford, Zoe Lau, Courtney Lazarek, Jamil Lewis, Nolan Louie, Ethan Ludwig, Sarah Matt, Madeline McAllister, Kenzie McCauley, Ryan Mackney, Sophia Manning, Lexi Marisink, Caitlin Martin, Renee McClelland, Kylie McHugh, Caitlin McGean, Curtis McGillis, Taryn McIntyre, Ava McLeod, Matthew McMullen, Carter Mikison, Len Menor, Jock Michael, Danae Michi, Emily McCasco, Tanner Minchinton, Hannah Mockford, Tyler Moline, Aiden Murphy, Emma Medinsky, Jenna Newsham, Alexandra Ullington, David Pardell, Tyson Parker, Marin Paranto, Taylor Pollock, Maria Perez, Giacomo Perry, Cassidy Pessinen, Marlo Pfeiffer, Aaron Pinkowski, Christopher Pitter, Jenna Polzer, Keeley Poole, Kennedy Poole, Katie Preston, Joseph Quinlan, Jalen Ransan Ransanker, Kieran Raymond, John Retchie, Dylan Redman, Sam Rebbit, Noel Christine Reyes, Aiden Rizzoli, Braden Ro Brady Roblin, Marin Rogers, Grace Romanyuk, Ashleen Rooney, August Ross, Marissa Ripsick, Elizabeth Russell, Amy Salazar, Trey Saretsky, Maria Sawiak, Aliyah Scar, Gina Schnepper, Darby Schulthaus, Natasha Sedgwick, Aaron Shand, Jennifer Shapko, Kiana Sigurdsson, Liliana Semenikova, Samantha Skiba, 
Jorge Gallegos Samatupoulos, Janine Seneha, Cameron Spilak, Kyla Stead, Lane Steen, Isabel Steppen, Jay Stover, Benjamin Stredwick, Matthew Sundin, Margaret Tabas, Damian Taylor, Kyle Timko, Mayumi Uritia, Calvin Uwe, Clara Vanni, Haven Vidoc, Vincent Vilsack, Keely Visser, Olivia Volk, Taryn Waldner, Anthony Warren, Jordan Watts, Marin Weaver, Logan Weiss, Bree Wieland, Kaylee Wilshire, Wesley Wispinski, Luke Withers, Jaden Wright, Samantha Wright, Monica Zachariah, Logan Zykowski, Jacob Zimmel. I'd like to thank everybody for being part of the ABJ 2020 Awards Evening Online. We must thank all the following individuals for their outstanding efforts and putting together the awards. First and foremost, as I'm here in the green screen room with Mr. Grandin, uh, Ms. St. Amand, as well as all of the technical broadcasting crew for helping make this video possible. They've done a fantastic job. I'd also like to uh, thank all of our teachers who helped with presentations and videos and for supporting the tremendous learning opportunities here at ABJ. I'd like to thank uh, our committee. So the ABJ Awards Committee that includes Mrs. Glass, Mrs. Timko, Mr. Starko, Mr. St. Jean, Ms. St. Amand, Mrs. Gao, uh, Ms. Victor, as well as Mr. Lakeman. Again, it's been my honor emceeing the awards evening uh, this year, and I wish everyone all the best. Thank you once again, and uh, hopefully we see you in a live awards meeting next year. Thank you, and God bless.